Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's talk about Alan Wake 2 on the Steam Deck. I just did a video on playing it on the Steam Deck, showing it, it works, just a demonstration. And now I'm doing the tutorial on how to install it and make it work onto your Steam Deck. Um, before we get into that, if you like this kind of content, gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, emulation, mods, cheats, trainers, how to get Windows games running onto the Steam Deck, Steam OS. That's basically all we talk about. So please consider subscribing and like the video. Share it too, please. Okay, so first thing, um, one thing you need to do is, uh, if you take a look at my Cryo Utilities, uh, I would recommend installing this. It gives you a, a performance boost. I have a video on how to install Cryo Utilities. Uh, sorry, Cryo Utilities. Um, but yeah, what I want to show you is see my current VRAM. It's on 256 megabytes. All right, so take note of that. 256 megabytes. Why is it set so low? By default, it's set on one gigabyte. And you can um, upgrade it. Like you can set it to four gigabytes, which most people do if you're playing emulation on the Steam Deck. But I've made it to 256 megabytes for this game. Because Alan Wake 2 requires 16 gigabytes of ram to run and it has a check at the start of the game so if you don't have 16 gigabytes it won't let you run the game so that's why i needed to uh, lower my vram because the vram it's actually using your uh it's a virtual ram for your uh, graphic card so it's actually using your ram to uh, move it for your graphics and if you bump it up that means you have less ram all right and the steam deck only has 16 gigabytes so I've tried using uh, VRAM, set it to 512 megabytes. It can't get past it. It will bounce you back out. So you need to set your uh, VRAM to 256 megabytes. And how do you do this? You need to go into your system BIOS. I have a video. I'll, I'll leave it in the link as well. Uh, so basically, you, you shut down your, your Steam Deck, and then you hold the volume up button and press the power button. And hold holding onto your volume up button until the BIOS uh, screen comes up and you can set your VRAM there, all right? So make sure, set it to 256 megabytes, okay? Next thing you need is go to your Discover Store and you'll need Lutris, all right? Lutris, or you could use Horror Games Launcher if you want, I just use Lutris, all right? So use Lutris to install, uh, we need Lutris because we need to, uh, make the game as a flat pack. We need to run the game as a flat pack. So we can't use the normal method of um, adding a non Steam game here on Steam and run it here. Uh, that doesn't work. So, what you also need is you also need the Alan Wake 2 game folder. So, install it. I don't know, I don't care how you install it. You can install it on your PC and transfer the whole game folder to your Steam Deck, or you could install it here like add a non-steam game install it and then get the game folder uh, or you can install it with lutris as well lutris you could also do that like if you go here go to add a game you could also install a windows game from executable so if you have the installer you can use it here and install it all right so all you need is you need the game folder all right so i've got it installed here i'm gonna do a new one just to uh, do a demonstration so Okay, so add, okay, that's, sorry, maybe it was too fast. So, okay, go to your top left, click the plus button, add locally installed game. Okay, click on it. Okay, I'm going to call it um, Alan Wake 2 Demo, all right? Demonstration. So, and then go to Runner, select Wine, run, runs Windows games. Okay. Game options, I'm going to select the executable. So go to your game folder. I've got it here on my downloads, Alan Wake 2. Select the Alan Wake 2.exe. Okay. Prefix folder. Okay. I'm going to set it. So go to doc, I'm going to documents, prefixes. Okay. I'm going to create one here. So call it Alan Wake to demo okay nope didn't okay alan wake to 
demo. Okay, so this is a created folder. Just I just created a blank folder. Okay, so uh, maybe I should create it as well. So go to the document prefixes. So I'm just going to create a blank folder to hold my prefix. Alan Wake to demo. Okay, so this is just the prefix folder for it. Okay, so prefix architecture, I'm going to keep it as auto. Okay, runner options, I'm going to use Wine GE821. All right, this one. All right, if you don't have this one, um, you might try, you can try a different one, I guess, but this one just works for me. So um, in case you don't know how to get it, go to Proton Up QT. All right, if you don't have this program, go to the Discover Store again, type Proton, and yeah. Find this, the uh, green arrow up, Proton Up QT. Launch it and then install for, go to Lutris, Lutris Flatpak, and then just uh, add version. Add version, YNGE, yeah, and then find the version you want. So this is my one, YNGE Proton 8 21. Okay. All right. So that's that. That's that, then basically that's it here. That's it. So save. Save and then let's run it. Alan Wake 2 demo. Let's run it. Okay. And it's going to create the prefix folder. See that? You, you need that. You need to create the prefix folder. So you need to run it once first. See the, the here? See this uh, folder that I just created? It was blank. And now it's populated. All right. So that's why you need to run it once. Okay, and then the game that didn't run. Okay, that's fine. That's normal because we haven't added the dependencies. Okay, so the dependencies. So in Lutris, highlight this, go to here, the wine, and then we go to, um, we go to which one should we do? Okay, wine tricks. Go to wine tricks, and then we're gonna add the dependencies. Okay, so select a default wine prefix, okay. And then here, install a Windows DLL or component, okay. Okay, so what we need here is we need D3D compiler underscore 43 and D3D compiler underscore 47. Then that check these two, click OK. These are the dependencies we need. Okay, just click OK for all these warning messages. You've got to have a few of them. Okay, I don't think we can get past this. I remember cancelling this when I did it. Okay, so yeah, just let this, like, if you get this, just let it run, I guess. Okay, and... See if it goes away. If it doesn't go away, I'm just going to like quit it. Okay. All right. And then on the same game, so Alan Wake 2 demo that I'm doing right now, I'm going to do run exe inside wine prefix. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to install two more dependencies. And these are the uh, VC runs. So I download, I'll leave a link to where to download this. This is the 2015 to 2022 Visual C. So Let's do the X64 first. There's two of them. One is for X64 and one is for X86. So see this Visual C 2015 to 2022 X64 version. Got to install it. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to install another one. So go back here, run, run EXE inside the wine prefix and going to select the X86 version. Okay. So let's install that as well. Install successful. Okay, so I think this didn't go through. So yeah, let's just cancel it. It's okay. Just click OK. Okay, it's trying to install again. I think yeah. Let's just cancel. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're done. Now let's play the game. Okay, let's see if it runs. It should run. Okay, see now. Now it says. If you didn't do the 256 megabytes on your VRAM, you should get the error saying like uh, this game needs 16 gigabytes of memory to run. But now we, we've got past that already because we've changed our file settings. 
So now it says game is installed on a hard disk drive. I don't know why it says this, but it just does because I've installed it onto my uh, SSD, two gigabyte SSD. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Just press OK. And then you get another message. Your GPU does not support all the recommended features. Just press OK. OK. I think uh, I've some people have left me messages saying that they've already done this. Um, they can, they, they got this, but this is not all of it. All right. So once you click here, okay, okay, continue. Uh, you can't play the game right now. It will crash. Okay. Where does it crash? It crashes here. Okay. Let me show you. So it will like after it loads this, and then when you go into the cutscene. Or when you start the game, it just uh, goes blank. All right, so I'll give a demonstration anyway. Uh, I think it's because of the video drivers. Okay, so continue. See here, it's just the black screen. Yeah, that's that's what happened. I think uh, it's because uh, when I encountered this, uh, first I thought it was because I didn't have enough video memory because I changed it to two hundred fifty six gigabytes. Um, but uh, then I was thinking maybe it's the graphic drivers. Okay, so uh, can I get out of this? No, I can't. Because I'm on desktop mode. Uh, alternate F4. Alternate F4. No. Okay, that's a bummer. I might have to restart my... Oh, I shouldn't have showed you the demo. Alright, so I'm going to restart my Steam Deck. So let me just boot it up. Okay, so I'm booting up my Steam Deck right now. So if you're liking the video so far, please give a thumbs up, share the video. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for supporting. So in the meantime, we're just booting up the Steam Deck. So we're going to give it some time. All right. Yeah, I shouldn't have showed you the demo of where it crashes because I now have to restart, reset my Steam Deck. And it's going to take a while. So, yeah. Sorry about that. But I'm thinking you guys don't mind. Let me know if you mind. And maybe in the future I'll cut these parts out of my videos. All right, so we're back in. Okay, let's go back to uh, desktop mode. Desktop mode, switch to desktop. Okay, now we're back in business. We're back in business. Okay. All right, so where were we? Okay, let's open back our Lutris first. Okay, so now I'm going to add, like the game works, it runs here. I'm going to create a Steam shortcut. All right, I need a Steam shortcut. So create a Steam shortcut. Okay, and since my Steam is open, it can't create it, like, you won't be able to see it. It needs to refresh. See, I've only just got Alan Wake 2. I don't have Alan Wake 2 demo, right? So what you need to do, you need to exit Steam and then reopen it. It needs to re restart for the, for the uh, shortcut to work, okay? Okay. So Steam is restarted here, and I should get, yeah, here, here it is. Alan Wake 2 demo, okay? All right. So as I was saying, why it like crashed, it's, it's because of the drivers. And for Linux, the drivers are called MESA, M-E-S-A, all right? So we, and there's like, like, what do you call them? Uh, beta versions. So we need beta versions of, um, we need beta versions of, okay, so, okay, yeah, here it is. Okay, so we need the beta versions of these um, Mesa, so they're called Mesa Git, Mesa Git packages. These are the beta versions of the, so what we need to do is we need to first add the beta, flat pub beta. So copy this code. I'll leave a link in the description. Don't worry. Go to your start button here all applications go to k for console okay k 
pay for console here. Okay, open up your console and then paste paste that code. Okay, so we need to add the flat hub beta. Okay, so press enter and I already have it, so it might not work, but that's what you do. See, it says already exists. All right, so you're supposed to like add this. So I already have it, so that's why I can't. You can if you don't have it. Okay, and then we're going to update to the latest one. Okay, this is not the latest one. The latest one is 23. All right, so 23. Yeah, this, okay, so I'll leave the code here. So we're going to update the latest beta version of these drivers. Okay, and it's skipping because I already got it installed. But for you, it'll download. I think it's like 100 something megabytes. It'll download and install for you. And there's two of them. There's one for GL and one for GL32, all right? So same thing, paste. Okay, I already have it. For you, it'll download and it'll install, okay? So make sure you do this. Okay. And then, yeah, we're done here. We're done here. And then how do we, like, how do we make our flat pack? That's why we need to use Lutris to install the game because see here, I created the shortcut, right? Okay, let's go to the shortcut. Go to the shortcut. Go to the properties. You see here, it's actually a flat pack. So it made, it created this as a flat pack. So we need to run the flat pack with, see here, it's the launch option is running the flat pack, running the flat pack. And we need to run this flat pack with the latest um, beta versions of the those drivers that we just installed. All right, so how do you do that? I don't know why I pressed that, okay. How do you do that? You add the launch option. At the launch option, we're gonna add, gonna add this code, okay? So in front of the run, I'll, I'll leave a link. In front of the run, you gotta add this, this command, okay? So flatpack underscore gl underscore drivers, equals Mesa hyphen git and then space percentage command percentage space so make sure there's a space between the percent the final percentage and run okay so don't just copy it and and stick it together with the run make sure there's a space here okay and that's what you do all right and then we're done and then we're done okay then we're done so yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. Don't worry. Okay, so let's just go back to gaming mode. So I don't want to run it on desktop mode because if I quit out of it, I might have to restart. So yeah, I'm just going to launch back into gaming mode and test it out. And once that's done, I think we're finished here. So yeah, please make sure to give a like on this video and yeah, share it out. Okay, so let's wait for our Steam Deck to boot back into gaming mode and we're gonna try that demo out. All right, back in gaming mode. Okay, let me move the keyboard out of the way, get my Steam Deck. Okay, go to, oh, press the wrong button. Okay, Steam button, library, non-Steam. See here, Alan Wake 2 demo. Okay, run. Okay, fingers crossed, hope it works. If it doesn't work, I'll have to re-record the whole video. Okay, so we got this message, hard drive, okay. And then GPU message, okay. All right. We're in, but see if we, see if we still get that like uh, error, that black screen. We've updated to the latest uh, graphic drivers for Linux. That's how we got this to work, okay. All right, see that? Yeah, since we we're using the latest graphic drivers, now it works. For an answer. All right, let me go Sometimes into like the gameplay where you can move the character. Yep, yeah, that's it, okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it here. Now I can move the character. All right, so hope this video was helpful. And if it did help you out, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.